Hello, it's Marco here from Markham 3D. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to download approximately 10 gig of assets. Now, if you want to help me out, just hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this video. And if you want more information about this kind of stuff, make sure you stick around to the end of the video to see how you can actually use these assets within Blender and other 3D modeling programs. So let's jump over to the Epic Marketplace and have a look. So here in Unreal Engine under Unreal Engine, under marketplace free for the month. And if you don't see this, you can click on free and free for the month. So let's kind of go through all these assets here. There's a lot of blueprints and so on on how to make the application, but we're mainly going to be looking at the assets themselves. And then from there, we'll go into the city subway tunnel, the smoke builder. I'm not going to look through the swords and shield because they're going to be swords and shields, but I do want to have a look at the Western desert town. Mwah. So having a look at the advanced puzzle one, let's just kind of have a look around and some really cool features. Now these meshes aren't, you know, anything really to stand out and gawk at, but you kind of get a sense of what they're using them for. So for instance, here, you can see that this is a cylinder piece and then we've got another cylinder piece, but this is the whole way around. And then we've got a wall there, pylon. And we can kind of see the simplicity of these meshes. So for instance, if I select this one, I'm going to open it up in the bottom right there and we can kind of check it out what it actually looks like from here. If you want to actually look at the wireframe mesh, you can have a look at the wireframe mesh and we can kind of see there is not a lot of faces. Next thing, obviously we can have a look at the UV. Now the UV channel zero should have something, but if we have a look at UV channel one, now normally one is where it creates the ambient occlusion. Now we'll go ahead and we'll check that out in the other models. That's really peculiar that they've done it like this. Now, if you want to check out what the material looks like, we can open up the material. And from here, we can import it into any other 3D program. So from here, we've got our diffuse texture. There we go. So this is what our diffuse looks like. And then if we come down here, we can see our marks, so red, green, and blue. So it's almost like it's come out of substance painter. Here, we've got our normal texture. So let's just double click on that. And there we go. So it's really nice, really simple, just to kind of see how other people do it. Now I'm not gonna go through the blueprints because I tried to and they gave me a little bit of a headache because I'm feeling a little bit rusty. This object here, let's check it out. Let's come down into the mesh. So let's select the base and we can kind of see what this looks like. And once again, the wireframe, you know, it's not very heavy, so we don't really need to go crazy because that's something you're not really going to be noticing. Let's check out the UVs. There we go. So we've got a whole bunch of overlapping UVs, which is fine. Um, because like I said before, with Unreal Engine, it'll create its own UV for the lighting map. Now here is our subway scene. This is looking absolutely gorgeous. Now make sure you stick around towards the end and I'll show you how to get some of these assets out into their own FBX files. But let's just kind of have a quick squeeze. We can select the objects and we can see each individual piece. Here we go. So with this one, it looks like they're all prefabs. Here are these circles. If I can select one, if it'll let me. These here are the decals. So we can move these decals around. Now these are things that we can also export. So for instance, if I were to open up this graffiti texture, you can see what the material looks like on a sphere. But if we go all the right in, we can see that it's just an alpha image that is being projected onto a wall. Let's actually, I'm more interested to see what this tunnel texture looks like. So let's have a look, tunnel light. So let's have a look at the mesh. All right, so this is what we've got. And we can see that this texture is nothing too flash. It's just pure concrete. So let's drill in a little bit more, MM tunnel wall. Let's find our textures. Right, I have no idea how this is working. I'm not a texture man in Unreal Engine, but somehow through sorcery, it's working. But here we can see what the material is. It is a very basic material, but what makes it alive is all the crud along the walls, all these little assets. So for instance, this cable box, let's have, let's have a look if we can find it. Tunnel wise is this thing. Nope, these are just some wires that are about. Let's have a look at the mesh, see how complicated that is. Uh, so if we go into wireframe, we can see that's actually pretty heavy. UV, UV channel zero. And that's a repeating texture. There we go, that's the light map. And what this two is, 
Yeah, it looks like a secondary uh, UV map. And here we've got separate tracks and so on and so forth. You can really deep in and kind of really, what I want to show you is that you can really break apart these scenes and kind of reverse engineer how they've done these certain things. Now over into the particle simulations, we can see that we're kind of get, we're getting some really good particle simulations here. But the fun thing is, is for instance, this one here, this is actually a sprite sheet. So it's actually not any particles. It is just a whole bunch of images. So I'm just kind of digging down of the animation of the smoke moving around. Um, the fire here is a particle system and we can tell that by selecting that. And, but we can still check the sprite sheet. It looks like smoke puffs, but what they're doing is they're converting it to have a, a fire type material. So let's go down a little bit further. Smoke wisps. Yeah, so here we are. We're creating that fire material using the information from the texture. So this is kind of a good way to see how they're doing particles within Unreal Engine. But finally, I just want to check this one last one. And that is the gorgeousness that this Western style set is like. So here we can really break down how they're actually building these things. So it looks like a prefab, which they call in Unity. Um, but it looks like a grouping. And then we can come down and we can check individual pieces. Oh, well, it's a tiny little piece. But you can see that's how the border works. And then I'm going to assume that we've got little pieces. Now they're probably one meter units that they kind of go around. Um, how did they do this is the question. I can't see. I would assume that this is a decal there. Um, but can we come all the way in? We sure can come all the way in and you can all see the individual assets once again. Far out. So just looking at these coffins, these are simply two meshes. No, they're not. With these coffins, I can quickly, you know, duplicate that. And let's kind of rotate it around, step it up a little bit. And then you can see that we can really manipulate everything very quickly. There's, there are lots of dead bodies around here. <laughs> Something like so. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But let's say we want to export one of these objects. Um, let's select this wagon and we need to find it here in the content browser. So I'm just going to click on that. Let's go content and we can see that it's SM underscore carriage. So I'm going to go SM for static mesh underscore carriage. From here, what I can do is I can right click asset action and we can go export. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to save it here. And for me, this is all fine. So let's go export. Now you have to remember that we have just exported the mesh, not anything else. So none of the textures. So let's come down into the materials. Let's double click on the material. And then from here, let's find all our materials, light wood, log trim. Let's select this. This is going to be T underscore log trim, log trim and log trim. And we have to take note that the green is our roughness. Our blue is the ambient occlusion. And here I found our three textures. I'm just going to select them, all three of them, right click. Let's go asset action. Let's go bulk export, put them into here, select folder, blah, 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 blah. They're all gone. Now, if I were to jump over into blender, let's delete the default cube. Let's go file import FBX, go to where we exported it. I'm going to go SM carriage FBX. So there's our carriage. Now you can see that there's kind of two meshes over the top. So this UCX SM carriage LOD zero, anything starting with UCX is the collision box. So if that's not there, people can clearly just kind of walk through it. So let's select that. I'm just going to press delete. We can see our three level of details. So let's get rid of one, two, and three. So we've got the highest quality one, press tab to go into edit mode. And we can kind of see the mesh from there as we all know and understand. Let's see if this works. I'm just going to create a quick material. Materials already there. Shading. Um, let's go shift A image. Um, open. Western town textures structure. Dang it. Okay. BC, I believe was the base color, which makes sense. Shift D to duplicate that one. Let's click that. Let's go M. 
And now what we need to do is shift A, we need to separate RGB. And what did we say? I think green was roughness. Shift A, mix RGB, plug that one into there. I think blue will come out like that. All right. Let's just go into rendered view. We're going to go add, bring that back down a little bit. Uh, let's go quickly. One last one, shift A, search, image texture, open, and we go normal, plug that one into there. And there we go. You can see how quickly we were able to bring in an asset from Unreal Engine into Blender. Now, hopefully you got some stuff out of this video. If you haven't already hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment. Let me know if this was actually useful. And if you want me to let you know more about, you know, free assets that we can get that we can use to increase our productivity.